Testing, testing. Okay, we actually are live. I didn't even I didn't realize I was gonna do that. But let me switch to our faces. Uh oh. <laughs> Surprise, everyone. That is so fun. Take oh. a picture of us. Uh... Take a picture of our suit. <laughs> Take a picture. Oh, whoa. <laughs> smile, everyone. Smile. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> That's like, that, I've never thought to start class <laughs> that way. <laughs> taking, a, taking a selfie of a selfie. Um, we have so many amazing folks with us. <laughs> I can't, every, obviously many folks here know Danielle, Danielle Wicks. Um, we've just been hanging out, so she, yeah. just, she decided she wanted to join us because she's so generous with her time. <laughs> and she also happens to know a lot about the jewel loom, which Juliana invented. Yeah, will you, maybe. Will you introduce yourself a little bit? Okay, I will. All right. So first of all, hi. <laughs> we are, by the way, we're live from Bead Fest. Yeah. We're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We're having no fun at all. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Haven't met any of these people, and they're the worst. And <laughs> um, and now we get to bead together. Yeah. Because they're actually the best. So, so where you where you, you where you come and joining where from? Where you come from? Um, so yeah, so hey everyone, I know um, I just texted my community as well, and so did Danielle and Sam, and super duper honored to have this opportunity to come to you. Um, I'm Juliana um, Avalar, and I've been in the creative world for thirty some years now. I actually got my start with Aline Jackson, the inventor of tacky glue and the gold bottle. Oh wow! Yeah. So one day I went on an interview and they said, look for the paintbrushes on the wall and the rest is history. So I learned how to bead um, back in the day there. So for those of you, probably a lot of you know, Lean's Creative Living, it was the number one daytime rated show throughout the country and Canada for quite a long time. And so we would bead and that's, and do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, she did everything, but that's where I got my start with beading. And I said to myself one day, I'm going to have my own loom. And so it took about 14 years from that time. Oh my goodness. And it, you know, it's all about timing, right? When we enter into things. And I knew that I wanted to partner with Beetle on to do that part of my venture. Mm. Um, they, you know, had space at the retail level and, and they knew what they were doing. And so we formed a relationship and jewelry television was the first to introduce it in April of 2013. Oh, wow. And then, um, Michael's took it next. And I believe they set it fourth quarter of that year. And then from there, it just went everywhere. I just so. feel like it's <laughs> like everyone knows what the jewel loom is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's such an honor. And I, I think the best thing is and I'm sure both of you can relate to this is when you wake up in the morning and somebody has made something with what you sell mm -hmm. or what you have taught. And um, I, for me, that's the biggest gift. You know, I'm constantly seeing what someone did on the jewel mm -hmm. room. I mean, come on, like, <laughs> oh, you know, you do a lot of seed beating on the jewel. She room. does. Yeah. 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 Wow. Love it. yeah. And, uh, and so it's an honor that you do that. And, and I'm so grateful to you to, let no, do this with you. Thank so. you for sharing this. I yeah. think many folks watching probably will know the jewel loom, but if you yeah. haven't used the jewel loom yet, definitely like comment below because we're going to try to go through mm -hmm. some of the basics <laughs> yeah. as well as make on the fly using yeah. the August Sam Speed box. So cool. Which I'm very curious yeah. your take on this box. Yeah, no, and, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's got all the fall tones so that. You know, you should be designing right now for fourth quarter, y'all, especially if you are <laughs> making things to sell or you want to get your gift giving dialed in. You definitely want to, um, you know, be looking at this color palette. So all of the beautiful harvest colors, the reds, the burnt oranges, that really sexy black gray over there speaking my name. Um, and even the sage. I think the sage is gorgeous for the um, for the fall. So I'm going to bring this one up to the to the camera. These are some pretty big go, go big or go home, as I like to say, 10 millimeter rounds. <laughs> Do you Super use beads that big on a loom? You can, yes, absolutely. You know, you just have to, it's all about setting up the warp, right? So you have to set up your warps to accommodate the beads. Okay. And if you're going to use a variety of beads and sizes, then you set up the warps to accommodate the largest bead. Okay. Okay. And so, um, 
what I do want to do, let me just get into the groove over here yeah. with the camera. We're, we, y'all, we're making, we're, we made our own set here at Beach Fest, so. <laughs> we did. We're our own little Julie. Faking it till you make it. <laughs> um, so one thing to point out with the original Jewel Loom, the blue loom, as a lot of people refer to it, is that it is a flexible plastic, not a bendable plastic. Okay. So you just need to keep that in mind, all right? So it's got a little bit of a flex to it. Um, you got the grooves up here, the buttons, which by the way, the buttons are a part of my US patent. Mm -hmm. um, in traditional looming, people would go around and around and around, and all of this in between space would have ended up wasted. And when you're using leather mm -hmm. or wildfire, or quite frankly, any type of product, you don't want to waste. Um, so it does come with the metal rod. So the thing about uh, looming is that it's all in the warp and the tightness of the warp. Mm -hmm. So the rod helps to achieve that. So I'm going to take the metal rod. I put it into the bottom hole, and I just want to give you some physical perspective really quick. Um, this is my left hand. This is my right hand. And the loom is straight up um, and down in front of me. So this is my body. And so as I uh, talk about direction and position, just to kind of give you an idea. So I'm going to take the rod. I put it into that bottom hole. And then very carefully, I take the top of the loom and I put that rod into the, the hole. Okay. So now the metal rod is in there nice and secure. And if you ever had a hard time getting the metal rod into those holes, it would be because the... Um, the rod, perhaps these two little guys right here, they might have been pushed in too far. So you simply will take a flat nose plier and you'll just, you know, give it a little bit of space. Mm -hmm. I so, see it's like just less than 90 degree bend. Yeah, well, yes, if you've got all those, those terms. <laughs> if I was you know to those reference words. Points, no, like, I what, love what's, it. what's our I love goal? It. But you do want it to be in there nice and snug, Sam, because you don't want that to ever, like, fly back out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over, and this is its bottom side. And so it, this is facing the ceiling. This is the back of the loom. It's facing the ceiling. You can warp with just about anything that's not moving, okay? I say uh, it's fair game, right? Okay. So you got hemp <laughs> cord. You have leather cord. You have wildfire um, the G stuff, the S lawn, like, you know, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, ribbon. Mm. You could even like get super creative and tear a bunch of strips of old clothes. Right. And, and it doesn't and, matter. Okay. Yeah. So like, it's just whatever you want to, you know, use your creativity for. So I'm going to take the hemp cord. Is it a 10 pound there? This is a one millimeter, 10 pound. And I really, 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 really love, um, hemp teak. They're out of California with, oh. where we are. And they're based in the San Diego area. They're an awesome company, very sustainable. And they have all the right little initials for it to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to try to quote them, but they're good stuff. <laughs> it's beautiful colors. That's yeah, what's catching my rainbow. eye. This is their, um, their rainbow hemp. I absolutely love it. And so I just did um, two really good knots. Now, here's something else that's really key. I'm going to pull this over, okay? So here's the knot, and I'm going to pull it in the direction that I'm going to lay the warp or the um, product down on the hem. The reason being is that if the knot is all the way over here and I start to warp, well, now you have that. And that happens. Yeah. We lose. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to see that audio is still working. I'm so good about going to not disturb. I got too excited. So That's folks so will tell us if they okay. if we lost the audio, okay. which is a 50% chance. Let's see what happened, y'all. Can you still hear us? Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Good, bad, <laughs> bad, good. Okay, we'll find out. Yeah. I see Amber. Amber, can you hear me? <laughs> Sherry, can you hear me? Kristen, Nancy's here. Is here. Oh my I'm gosh. I'm unmuting and muting. It's the Oh, Aw, thank Aww. you. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, fantastic. I'm on, now on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> as if I've never done this before. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, just make sure the knot follows you. Because the first warp seems to be the one that everybody always loses it, right? And then they get all bummed out because they can't get their tension correctly. But if you just make sure that the, the knot is following you, it's closest to you. So I'm going to take the hem. And because it's a one millimeter hemp, it's not going to go into the groove. The grooves are not that big. 
So it's going to lay on the grooves. I'm going to flip the loom over and I'm just going to eyeball. Okay. Don't get all weird about counting. Okay. <laughs> not, not, not a deal breaker. And let me just come into the shot here and then I'm going to flip the loom around again and I'm going to go around the back button. Okay. Then I'm going to use, yeah. Have you, have you thought about, <laughs> I know, I guess I should have thought about for sure. Right. Put you on the spot I to super, pick. Well, I'm, I'm totally digging these. Um, you said these were one of your favorites. Oh my gosh. These multi rondelles here. Yes. And so, okay. So let me tell you about how many, you know, to skip. All right. So it's kind of an eyeball thing. I take the bead and I'm going to put it up to the groove and I can see that I'm going to have to skip one, two, three. I'm going to skip three. So that looks, I think if, where's that sign at on the bag? Oh, it yeah. tells you what size it is, right? Where I throw through all these of our, are, yeah, yeah that's it. So like a six millimeter bead would definitely be skip three. So we're going to go with three. Okay. okay. So let's get these guys out of the way. And so um, back in the screen, and then I'm just going to bring this up to the top. And I've done it enough now I can kind of eyeball it. <laughs> I don't have to count. And I'm going to go three <laughs> wide. So you always do one more warp than you do um, your beads. So we're going to go three across. You need four warps. And then I'm going to lay that down and see how I'm keeping the tension. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you were to get to this point and man, your first warp, warp was droopy, don't don't sweat it. Like it takes time. You just mm -hmm. practice and practice and in no time at all, like you'll totally, you know, get your warp down. I'm in love with all the colors that I are know. happening. I know. And they're going to look so pretty with those beads. Okay. So we're going to flip it over again and we're going around that back loom. I'm I mean, noticing the back you don't go all the way around. You just oh, kind of no. hooking onto it. Yeah. Because again, if we, if we went all the way around, um, oh, you mean the back button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, you don't have to go around twice. And there's our um, four, our fourth warp. So I'm going to bring this up to the camera and I'm going to do an arm stretch. <laughs> 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 All right. And so I'm going to flip it over again. I'm your cameraman. Let me know if I have to do I any know, adjustments for I know. you. I've got, I've got a few settings and I that's about it. it. <laughs> the super cool thing when you're using um, like the leather cord or the hemp is that it's so thick that it really tucks underneath the button. Mm -hmm. And so you don't really have to, you know, worry about losing your tension. Okay, so I do need, um, let's see, let's see if I can, can you pull that? Gotcha. <laughs> it's like we're I can also be your hands. Surgery here. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to, yep, let's get in there. Okay, so I don't want to lose tension, so I've kind of got my hand in the way. I'll take it out. Basically, I just need to get a knot, so however I can get there, I'm going to get there. And there's my first knot, and I'm going to tug. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see what I did. Danielle, how many times do you think you've done this? <laughs> oh, <I have> no clue. <laughs> okay. And so if you were using a beading thread or any other product, it'd be the same idea, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to warp. You got to get it nice and, and taut so that um, your warps are nice. When you use the wildfire, you get like a little guitar st um, strum. I was going to say, this is reminding me of my, my first yeah. passion, which is music. Yeah. There you go. We're making instruments today. So, okay. So let's talk about removing the limb. I mean the, the rod, because that is kind of like the next, mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, how do right. we do that? Right. So usually what I do is I take my pointer, this very expensive tool right here, that's connected to my body. And, <laughs> and years I'll, in the making. <laughs> years in the making, literally. And I'll put that over the warps. And then I also use my goddess belly. So I'm going to stand up really quick here and I pop that out. Okay, so just like that. Now, if I went to go and try and remove that rod and it was like, mm -mm, I'm not coming out, mm -hmm. okay, reverse the loom and okay. shift the tension okay. and then it pops out. And Danielle's agreeing with me, so we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you also put it against yourself when you, for your loom? Is it the belly method? Yes, it is the belly method. <laughs> it is That's the funny. belly method. So anyway, so at this point you're done with your metal rod. Um, don't lose it because they're not sold separately. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we've got yeah. a comment saying they want a, 
a class on your bracelet, but we're going through oh. the basic technique yeah. that you've used in this yeah. bracelet. If you want to give a close up on kind of yeah. where we're heading today. Right. I've got a few things going on. I had to wear my my beautiful piece and so does Sam. <laughs> we're both sporting this Danielle. This is our, our Danielle bracelet from yeah. the Beads of Courage this is our event. Take last night. Yeah. So great. And then she did that thing that always kicks my butt because for I can do anything but this. <gasps> I know. I, Danielle helped me do my first square knots. I'm so pleased. I need, I need private lessons because <laughs> I just can't for whatever reason. Um, it actually made sense for the first time. Oh, really? So, yeah. Okay. Well, then I have to learn from you because I still like, I think it's, I think it maybe it's because you're using both hands and I can't, I can't grasp. I don't know. My oh, brain. You'll totally get it. Yeah. So anyway, okay. So at this point we are all warped. Everybody has a warped jewel loom. And so I guess we can just clear. And I threaded um, the wildfire onto your jewel loom needle. The jewel loom needle is awesome because it's like three inches long. Whoa. So if you're working with the entire width of the jewel loom, that's why we made them long so that you can literally, like if you wanted to do a ginormous seed bead pr pattern or something, you'd have the needle to do it. Um, to get started, now Danielle and I, I think we have two different ways. I think even Amber and Trish, I think a lot of people have a couple different ways to, you know, actually attach um, and get started. Back in the day, we would just kind of do the under, over, under, and we would create like a little faux selvage and, and we would do that. And I still do that. Or you can take the very end of the wildfire. This is a great color wildfire, by the way. Oh, the blue is delicious. And then you could just tie on and then you could um, leave a tail that's long enough that you could then, um, hello, you could then uh, weave back into your project. One of the most important things to know is and I, I have to remind myself this, is you should kind of know how you're going to finish your project mm -hmm. and and what you're doing. Because, like, if I'm going to do this... I know. We didn't, we didn't even show the beautiful yeah. things over here. If I'm going to do a bracelet, then I want to center it on the jewel loom so that in the end, I have equal amounts of warp threads to work with. On either end. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Are these and your so, CBD projects, by the way, here? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, and you know this is a this is sewing on a class. This is actually what I learned you know 30 years ago when I was on Aline's. We sewed all of our clasps on. I think it was just probably because we were limited to maybe other other ways to finish. And so mm -hmm. I always used to sew it on. Obviously that takes up a little time. Um, and these types of clasps can range in in price but if you're making a gemstone piece go for it you know mm -hmm. spend the extra money um but i super love using the slide connectors from beetle on oh wow they make life very easy and so they basically go over that first and last row of seed beads so it's not 11 -0 or is it delica what are we these are 11 0 tohos and um they will go over the 11 0s and the 8 0s wow. yep yeah so kelly dell and i did this bracelet together. Kelly did the uh, pattern. And so that was really fun. She challenged me to do a seed bead project. And I was like, oh, can I'm... folks find that pattern? These yeah, days? it's on the Jewel Loom School. So there's jewelloom.com and then there's jewelloomschool.com. So I have a, okay. a school with bead, bead weaving fiber arts and I put everything up there, the free patterns, all the courses, how to use okay. is what you want to click on if you want to get like everything yeah like i want to see 24 7 how to use my jewel loom you go to how to use and it's there's a there's a course right there and that's of course all free um the how to use part so <sighs> I'm, I'm, so now my challenge and danielle's here also so i hope you should take all the i'm very curious yeah. are, i was gonna try to make one with Oh my gosh, am I going to try to yeah, do my own? Yeah, you have the beautiful, I, guess I did the beautiful, right. I want to use those guys though. Okay. <laughs> See, so I, ha have I haven't done a full loom project, so this is... Well, I think getting the basics down for anybody is like just most key. And I think going easy on yourself is like super important. Um, you know, you have to get the rhythm of it down. You have mm -hmm. to 
play around with putting the rod in, taking the rod out, warping your loom, getting your tension, and it takes time. It just takes time. Don't, and it doesn't take a lot of time, mm -hmm. but don't beat yourself up if you can't get that perfect tension on the first go. It's like not a deal breaker. You just have to practice. I feel so lucky that my first loom has been prepped for me. I know. I by did. The, it. <laughs> by the inventor. <laughs> So all you did, did you do a surgeon's knot or just do a basic? I just do a little boo-boo knot. And so again, just kind of, I, you know, I have a six inch wrist, so I'll start like right this. below this button on the top Okay. and um, center my bracelet. But I'm actually going to do a pendant today. Ooh. So I could, you know, I could actually, I'm going to go in the middle because I'm going to do like four rows of three, I believe. I'm 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 yeah, I'm going to kind of be all eyes on what you're doing here. Okay. So, again, let's just kind of like talk about um positioning and so the needle and the thread are in my left hand. Let's see if I can get you. And oh, yep. Yeah. Somehow. There, there you go. go. That looks beautiful. Awesome. I prefer to be behind all the lights here. <laughs> it gets <laughs> fine. Um so the needle and thread that is, is in my left hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these unbelievably gorgeous. So these are five by like eight and a um, half. Eight and a half. They'd and probably so, be called a five by nine normally. Okay. Yep, they're they could be called anything. They're so beautiful. <laughs> like seriously, I'm gonna smuggle them. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna take the needle and thread. We're going under the warps. I'm gonna pass the needle and thread over to my right hand. Okay, and then I'm going to scoop up three beads. And then I'm going to let those three fall. Don't want to poke your eyeball out. No, that's okay. <laughs> I'm at the end of the trip. I don't. <laughs> you don't need that eyeball. <laughs> okay, and so you see how they're just kind of like hanging underneath. Let me get my hand out of the way. They're hanging underneath the warps. And then I'm once again going to bring in the expensive pointer. And I'm going to prop those beads up and in between the warp threads. And I'm going to bring that very slowly and carefully up to the camera. I'll zoom on in even more for folks. Get a little clearer. Awesome. So let's. Okay. So they're, they're resting on my pointer. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the needle. The needle and thread are still in my right hand. I'm going to go through the bead holes and my needle is on top of the warp. So let me come up. So you see the shine of the needle. The needle is on top of the warps. And then I'm going to transfer that over and I'm going to pull very carefully and I'm going to guide the thread. And usually I wouldn't have so many obstacles on my table, but um, if you know, so you do kind of want to work in a clear, clean area. And then I'm just going to pull to snug those in there. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to go back under the warps, back through the bead. And what it, this helps to do is to lock that first row in place. Does it matter if the beads are coming from below? No, they actually have to come from below. Okay. So interestingly enough, a lot of people who are off loomers will try to use, I'm sorry. Yes. A lot of people who are off loomers will try to use off loom technique because mm -hmm. in their mind they have learned, right? So I've seen it in my classes and I'm like, you're on a loom. <laughs> So, so I come, I came up. Yeah, awesome. The you top. did perfect. And then you said now you to secure it. What was the next step for that? So one? then I like to um, take the needle and go under the warps and back through the holes. So you're just kind of like giving it um, a little extra, a little extra love here. A little extra, yeah. Now I've got a loose ribbon that I don't like. Let me see. We can one. swap. You can steal this one if you like it more. <laughs> Let's see what happened here. Okay, there we go. I'm just trying to get this snug. Oh, there we go. Okay, awesome sauce. Okay, so then the next thing again is take the needle, come under the warp, and we're gonna pick up three more. 
Now, let's see, five. I don't know what would fit. I think, I feel like visually I could do three 11 O's might equal, might equal the base of um, this bead. Mm -hmm. So you just got to put, you know, like if you want to mix it up, just play around. Um, you know, I always used to think that six millim two six millimeter um, pyramid beads would equal one 12 millimeter pyramid bead, and they don't. No, you got to, when you actually measure, <laughs> you start measuring a check bead, <laughs> like we started actually putting real sizes. Yeah. We're pretty darn close. Like, like there's classic bead check shapes. Like there's yeah. like the five by eight and the five, like the five by nines. But then you measure the bead and like, no, that's, no. that's a, like a, almost more of like a, an idea. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. So even when I started measuring gemstones, like, oh, it's not uh, actually eight millimeter. That's an 8.4 millimeter. Yes. And that can make a difference in some scenarios. It can. It can. Especially if you're trying to like fit more beads into, you know, these little, little warped areas. So, but Did yeah, so it just becomes like this really meditative, soulful dance that you and your loom and your beads have. And um, you know, probably one of the most simple things to do, Sam, is to use a single hole, beautiful bead, and mm -hmm. you should be able to, at some point in the ball game, get a bracelet done under an hour. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're making for, pro you know, for business or whatever, these are really simple, um, low entry materials, make them, get them up on your site. I know everybody's looking to make extra money these days. And perfect for gift giving for the holidays. Mm. So if you're making your own gifts for this season, um, get started now. Did you have to do anything special mm -hmm. to jump to the next row? I can, obviously, I came back. And then to start my next row, did you have to do anything special? Okay, wait. You need to get back over to your left side. So take those off. <laughs> I, I, was like, I was like, oh, darn it. Yeah, because, you know, you needed to go back through the top. Three so times. So you know how you, Because well, I, I went through and back. Right. And then you have to go now. Because only once. You only have to do that to the first row and the last uh, row. And that's just a jewel thing. That is not like, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you could get to the point where you're like, girlfriend, I don't want to do that. You know, and Danielle may or may not do that. It's just a jewel thing, right? Like, right. I don't want the first row or the last row to move. Yeah. So I'll do that, that thing. But we got to get these guys off of here. So kind of you. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad I, I'm so glad I clarified because I was like, oh, I'm sure. Just, What's happening? Just keep going, right? Just keep going. Okay. We're good though. But see, we saved it. So it's all good. We'll just slide those off. Nice control Z there. And so I'm going to give this back to you in your right hand. So that I can go right and, back. And then top. I want you to go right back through that row. And then you're going to be back onto the left side. And I'm going to scooch this a little bit. Can't believe my luck today. I was just beating with Wyatt the last half hour. <laughs> and like learning all sorts of wire techniques I haven't done before. I love it. He's this got a total jam going on up there. Yeah. And then just guide that. They, these beads are like crazy beautiful. They're so unexpected. Wow. I have never seen ones quite like this. And I just yeah. think it makes this sort of design so exciting. Yeah, super duper. It's a close up of, they're just these like multicolor, yeah. fabulous rondelles super that, were, that were in the August Sam's bead box. Yeah, they're super. This whole box is stunning. It's really, really Oh, because now I'm going to go back to my next. So now you're going to come under the warps. Okay. <laughs> come under and now pick up three beads. Okay. And usually you would want your bees stashed to be on the right side of you. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see that though. I'm off camera now. Danielle's working on a project over there. I can see her speeding along with some copper beads. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be, yeah. Okay. Jules is so diplomatic. We'll see. <laughs> So now I guess do the same process again. Yeah, now, now push them up. See, this is good. You also have a beginner doing this for anyone yeah. who's also doing beginning because you can see I'm yeah. making all the mistakes that maybe now you won't have to you're, you're basically curse over. In the end, just under, over, under, over, right? Like you're just, yeah. Except for that first row. And that, again, is just a jewel thing. Like it's not a deal breaker. <gasps> I don't, oh, you, that's so you funny. Okay? Oh my goodness. Did it work? Um, I'm caught on our camera. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm just going to so go. Just come I'm, back out. We're just going to do that. Un yeah. Yeah. You should be able to get out. Uh, that's too funny. I fully wrapped around the phone stand there that we're go. on. Awesome sauce. 
just to, I know because you got like all kinds of wires. Just to make my first experience on the loom, just to have extra <laughs> factors here. So no, this is, this is going to me feel so easy next time, you yeah. know? Yeah, you're going to be, like, gonna be I like, I don't have all these obstacles. It's like I could do this on the beach. Absolutely. <laughs> this is such a portable little tool, though, also. It doesn't weigh that much. No, my gosh, it's so lightweight. It's so light. The plastic looms are very lightweight, where the wood looms are definitely, you know, heavier. Wait, are we, am I? Can I <laughs> you? Let me get over here. Let me get in my safe space over here. <laughs> So now I just get to keep going that easily? That easily. Oh, my god. So goodness. once you get your rhythm down, like I said, seriously, you can get these single hole bead um, projects done in definitely under an hour. You can get them off the loom. You can, you know, add your, you know, I, I like adding the wood button because really this is one of the most simple techniques, right? You don't have to sew anything on. You're not crimping anything. Um, so easy peasy pumpkin squeeze. I can finally start using my stash of check buttons yes because this is yes. we feature them because i always say like yes. i always knew that they would work as class but this is like the perfect yeah. project for them yeah you're doing great oh thank you so super, much super great. <laughs> i just want to check your sides okay what so what are you looking out for so um so sometimes what will happen like if you're not paying attention you know if you leave extra thread on mm -hmm. the ends here then you're going to have like a little pooch right you're going to have like a little a little bit of your your a loop you don't you want it to be nice and snug up okay. against the warp, but you don't want to pull so tight that you distort the warp. Gotcha. And so you just want it great. kind yeah. of flush. Yeah, you just kind of check in on yourself, okay. check in on your work and and what have you. So Danielle, what is going on over here, Mama? I know. <laughs> I'm here. Need, Sam, I'm Go need, that way. I'm going to need more of those. <laughs> you already <laughs> played. So Look at how pretty. This is Danielle. So what are you using? These are the... What's the name um, of that one? The textured round, I think. Yeah, they're Is super cool. Textured. Yeah. They textured. Look like a yarn moldy. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Aren't those fun. so cute? I love them so much. And then with the eight O's. Yeah. So you squeeze yeah. four in there. I squeeze four in between. So each four one. made up for what size was that? Oh, this was at eight millimeter. Okay, that's good. And I love your your color blocking again. There Gorgeous. she goes. And <laughs> with her genius. Gorgeous. What do you, are you going to keep going? As, I'm going to keep going until I run out of I those. I want to see if I can't start doing some loops. We have, these are Eidos? Yeah. Those okay. are eights, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try for giggles. Let's see, where am I at? I'm going to come back under. And... Is it okay that I stole some of these same <laughs> yes. beads? I was only going to, uh, to do four rows because... Okay. I just kind of really want to give, I want to see, I want to see if this makes sense. Um, so I'm going to come down here. Okay, folks, let us know if you can't see what Juliana is doing. Julia's on us, is here on the left. Yeah, so I'm just going to pick up. So I'm just going to see if I can't do some loops. So what do you mean by do some loops? Okay, so let me get these on here and I'll tell you. <laughs> are you about to get? Are you about? about to, are you about to get extra fancy on what us are you right here? About yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna bring it right now. You're not even gonna know what happened. <laughs> okay, so what's fun is to build a base. So I would refer to this as my base, right? And and my base can just be that. It can be a single hole, flat based bracelet easy peasy pumpkin squeezy but if i want to add some character if i want to add some loops right so these are loops that i sewed into the bracelet um these are loops with some swarovski oh i don't know if folks can even have seen that this is built on top of a yeah. loomed ring there yeah. this is oh my, my goodness my go big or go home you yeah. got some compliments on it right at the yeah. start of the stream <laughs> so those are loops right and your loops are as big as how many how many seed beads you put on your needle. Mm -hmm. So if I take five eleven O's, it's going to be a little boo boo loop, right? So look at like how tiny these guys like are. Like a little cute loop. Yeah, just really tiny. Um, you can add decorative beads. I would refer to anything that's not a seed bead as a decorative bead. Okay. And then if I want it to be really flashy, um, then I would you know there's probably what. Let me see if I can you know, maybe 12 or something, maybe 10 to 12 seed beads on the ring. And 
how fluffy it is depends on am I doing a loop on every single seed bead or am I skipping a seed bead? If I do it on every single seed bead like I did here, mm -hmm. you know, the base, right? Um, then I'm going to have a really big fluffy ring. So, and so you, you can do, I'm now gathering you're about to do loops more than just from the side. I was going to see for giggles what it looks like because I really don't want to take away from the awesome sauceness of this bead. I think but, they add to the awesome sauce. Yeah. So I'm going to, let's see, how many is there? We Five. have some, do you find those four millimeter red rounds? I think it's the only other sm sure. tiny bead in this box. Yeah. Small. Well, are they hiding? Oh, we got it. It's right there. <laughs> this table is what a 24 inch round or yeah. 36 three inch? beaters there's three of us on here it's so awesome <laughs> so danielle right now is actually looming on her lap is that by choice or because our, ta our <laughs> table's <we're> tiny <laughs> you can do this on the train yeah like on the beach like yeah <laughs> i have i have done these um watching my kids like play on the playground just Aww. there's yeah this one <laughs> so sweet super, super portable. sweet awesome so I've got the seed beads on my beading thread. And now what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through the right side of this bead. How did, how did you get over there? How'd I get over there? Mm -hmm. So I was here and then I took, ah, you flipped this and whole then thing. I, came up, 90, I turned myself 180, around. Okay. I turned myself around. So now I'm going to go through the first bead and then out and in between the second and the third. I need a fancy zoom button. <sighs> We need, we need the JTV need camera. JTV. I know, that camera's <laughs> amazing. I don't, wanna, I, I don't want to I don't know how much that thing costs. <laughs> you told me, and I was like, oh. Wow. All right, so there's a loop. Oh, my goodness. So this, see how the gold just complements all oh, of well, that? Oh, well, that's stunning. Yeah, so let's bring it. So it'll make a little extra. It's a little extra. I'm all into the extra. <laughs> it's the extra. Joan, Miss Joan says, I love doing a loop on every bead. <laughs> Everything, yeah. Yay, Joan. Yeah. Hi, Joan. It definitely, definitely makes it um, bigger and fluffier. Look at you did perfect. This is like, I, I oh can't decide gosh. if I'm going to do the loopy. I might just keep going <laughs> just yeah. for simplicity's sake. Well, I wonder what will match that. What, what size wise? Could, size wise, what could you mix it up Let's with? Let's see how these, these, oh, these are pretty wide. These are seven and a half saucers Ooh. so can you how how much does it does the loom let you adjust size as you go well again what you want to do is make sure that you uh do your warps according to the size of the bead why don't you put one of those on the needle and let's just put it underneath mm -hmm. here for giggles to right. see what happens and you were saying the six could yeah match this guy well. oh no this guy will definitely match okay three um, of them let me start simple yeah <laughs> set myself up for more success here Okay, what do I have? So I these are the seven. six millimeter carnelians. Yeah, those are stunning. from the box. Yeah, I think that color will work well. It's a good I think idea. it'll totally work well. And then I'm again, I'm going to go on the right side of the bead, and then through the next bead and all the way out. And that's going to be my second loop. Hey, do you want to show that once more? I did not have you well on camera that oh, well. Oh, sorry. That was totally <laughs> my bad. That's super fun though. It's looking very cool. God, that very little cool. copper accent. That's beautiful. Yeah. I'm in. I need a whole thing with this. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do next. Let's see. Do I want to do a third one? Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to do a third one. I so see a whole just... like snake forming on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm picking up seven eightos. Yes. And it's just the right color to not take away from the color of these gorgeous beads. Okay, so then I'm gonna go all the way out. Joan's talking about the silver silk loom. Would you, is, could someone you do this exact same project using the silver silk loom? Yeah, so, so Neelay's teeth that I designed on his loom are, um, they're bigger to okay. accommodate a wider warp so they definitely accommodate the silver silk that was the first uh -huh. goal, right so um but you can you can certainly use hemp um leather you know all the things right mm -hmm. sari ribbon the piece i'm going to be wearing tomorrow is phenomenal i made it and it's all with a sari ribbon and it's just outstanding um and joan just did 
a video. God bless her. I love that she's coming up <sighs> and doing things. She did a project on, on the silver silk loom where she lined it with silver silk. So her outside warps, and then she encased it with all the beads, all the deliciousness. So imagine this bracelet, right? But the outside is silver silk. That was like one of my favorite loom projects I've seen in a while. She and the did, color she did on she it. She did so good. That was Yay, like Joan. that was like genius of Joan. <laughs> <laughs> genius Joan, you should just feel so good about that for yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she did awesome. So I know it actually it made that silver silk on the outside, made it look yeah. so fancy. And I love silver silk and I love Neely and I'm so bummed he's not here, but I understand. <laughs> we'll give him a pass. So I just announced earlier today that he made a, his, I'm sure you've seen his new pipe chain. Yeah. He made a custom, two custom pipe chains to match this box we're working with. No. Because no he currently only does monochromatic pipe chains. Okay, yeah. And I said, I want fancy pipe chains for the <laughs> August box. And so we took his gold wire. Okay. Well, he did this because he's a made magician. I didn't do anything. <laughs> and You directed. <laughs> I just offer inspiration. That's yeah. all I do. <laughs> and he took his coral, his red coral one oh, pipe chain. Oh, yeah. And he took his white. And each of them has the gold wire on it now for the first time oh so my gosh currently it's a sam's beach shop exclusive so if you Whoa. go to sam's, sam's beach shop.com or if you go to our new app that we just launched i love it you can snag that pipe chain to match this box very cool good how are you <laughs> go ahead nope we i don't were... know if they're using it tonight or not i believe they are So yeah, so oh wow, this is really fun. <gasps> okay, well, Beautiful. it's too much on me. Let me let me get back on you. Oh. <laughs> so you're doing like let some magic see. over here. Whoops, there we go. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, I'm really um, I'm gonna have to like really get into this idea because I wasn't sure, but I love the tone of these beads, and they all seem to be working. Well, how genius are you? Like you didn't even know, no, right? Like we didn't even talk about this and look how it's working out with the box and the beads and the loom. This makes me so happy. I know, it makes <laughs> me super stoked too. I love it. Would you typically do it with like a 11 OC bead so that they're more subtle? Does it matter? Like, do uh, no, no, choice? no, come on. I'm go big or go home girl. Okay. <laughs> but I just- We'll send I, you some three O's. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the, um, the concept of putting the loop over such a beautiful base bead because you would never want to take away from the beauty of the base bead. Mm -hmm. And so playing around, I can see where using the, um, what is the proper term? It's, you know, when you mix texture mix and you mix, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you mix, you're mixing color and what have you. It's just proper, like it worked. Oh. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, no, it worked. And so it's very complimenting. Yeah. So. I adore all okay, of that. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Do we get a, do we get a Danielle check-in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Let's see where she's. Oh, that's cool. See, this oh, is. Oh so my gosh. Yeah. This is the same exact bead box. Yeah. That's the same seed bead. I know. But instead of you making the loops right. here, they're straight across. You've got four across. Yeah. So stinking cool. Wow. It. And it's Love not it. earth tones. <laughs> yeah, it's copper. So. Uh, yeah, it's adjacent. I was like, it yeah. feels like, I don't feel like I usually see like your shiny elements as much. So it's ah, like, yes. this is really cool. I like, thank you. This is really cool. Super <laughs> Yay. Danielle always full of surprises. <laughs> I like that. If folks haven't figured out yet, we're just hanging out at Bead Fest. So if you hear folks in the background, it's like they're setting yeah. up for like an event tonight. Yes. yes. I think they were setting up food. Our big, it's our big gala tonight. It's the Bead Fest. I guess we didn't say it. all three of us tonight are accepting an award here at Bead Fest. Look at all this fabulousness. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think any of us would either, would say that ourselves, but that is what is actually happening tonight. Yeah. So your um, your award is for emerging. Oh, yeah. We're each in a different category. Yeah. I'm an emerging artist. Danielle's in trendsetter. Mm -hmm. And you said you're in. Top innovator. 
this makes this all feels very fit. It all fit, yes. It works. Yeah, it and works. also just I feel very honored. <laughs> oh, look at what I just did. I just put oh. twice as many beads that I need. Oh. Because I'm trying to talk and five, six, seven. How funny. Okay, so we'll just take those off. Easy peasy, pumpkin spits. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally digging it. We might have to say the box more often. Yeah, so, right? Uh, you need some extra bee inspiration. <laughs> I love it. We definitely need to play more. That's for sure. So you're based in Southern California. I'm in SoCal. So right below just, you. I needed another reason because you're not far from my grandparents out there. Right. And uh, so now I have another reason. There's a lot yeah. of great bead shopping down there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I love going doing that there. Yeah, and we've got a really great place where we could plan a plan a special event. Wait, you have like <laughs> you have space so we could do like a retreat? I don't personally have the space, but I'm saying that we do have an incredibly um, we have a embassy suites that's on the beach. Ooh. You're kidding me. No. I'm and there. It's, <laughs> it's phenomenal. And so yeah. Yeah, I think our people would love it. I'm just like, what can we do in person these days? Like we've I know. This is Come being here, being. I think, yeah. has been so special. Yeah. Actually getting to like Yeah. I've met another someone from the community today. It was Aww. Wendy Jacobson. Hello, if you're watching this in the future, Wendy. Yeah. And we just got to beat we went I was like when I go over to Wyatt's booth at Beatalon and like <laughs> we could just go beat with Wyatt and that's what no, we did and it was lovely. So Here, I really want to make sure the magic of Juliana is being shown over here. And Danielle's well, like hi hiding over there because I my camera doesn't were, go that far. How many were you doing? <laughs> four. I did four, but this is an eight millimeter bead. Okay. But because I, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna find my way back to the top and do one row of seed beads so that I can use a slider class. Oh yes. Ooh. Yeah. So. Because I'm kind of digging the idea of exposing these guys, right? Mm -hmm. And then just the loops on the bottom. So this is just like a new new section yeah. there. Right. Like like the underneath of the ocean in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. I see it. Where there's fabulous <laughs> and margaritas or something. I so you said <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I see it. So you said slider cross. So something like this. Yeah, that's a slide, where... uh, slide connector. So you're going to end at some point with seed beads so that you can well, put this on. Too. Yeah. And I'm such a, I'm such a, I'm so, you know, I'm always telling everybody know how you're going to end before you start. Right. <laughs> but then sometimes I do things like this and I'm like, oh gosh, I didn't do it right. But there's no wrong. Uh, so what I'm going to do is weave my way back up to the top. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just um, taking the needle and I'm going to go back through all the holes and make my way back up to the top. And then I'm going to do a row of seed beads. Oh, and we didn't even say that Neela is also in the trendsetter category yes, this year. Yes, I know. So we get to cheer him on. So does that make six? Are we, or no, uh, emerging? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Innovator. Trendsetter. Neela is trendsetter. And Kirsten Nick. is Chris of TierraCast. I actually don't know what category she's in. She might be emerging <laughs> as well. I can't remember. And then Ani from Jewel Tool, she's, um, she is an innovator as well. I'm very innovator. curious when we'll see. I guess we'll, tonight we'll see the full list because we don't yeah. know. All, we, yeah. There's no list yeah. currently. Yeah, there's no like anything on the, on the streets. I, I was looking for the website, but I didn't find anything. Yeah, it's a secret, I guess. We'll let you all know Only as soon we as know. we know. <laughs> like I said, we don't know anything. <laughs> we're just, we're here. Okay, wait a minute. What am I going to do? I heard there would be beads, so... <laughs> You heard there'd be beads. <laughs> tonight? Uh, probably not tonight, but. <laughs> I heard there might be drinks tonight. Well, there's nothing. There's no drinks every night. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Danielle gave me what, her drink ticket for her Beads of Courage event last night. I was, like, I was like, Danielle, you need this. This is for you. Okay, major props to Jean, who does Beads of Courage because oh, yeah. it was a, seems like a very successful she's event. She's like that program. If y'all don't know about that, please go to beadsofcourage.org and check it out. 
Um, how can folks get involved? Well, I think it's outlined on there how they can support and, you know, make donation and all that good groovy stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just good stuff. Okay, so now I'm starting to get lucky. <laughs> I, this, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. I, this, <gasps> oh, that is cool. So yeah, wow, I've been adding sure. on Did you, that looks super oh, rad. section of Carnelian. So you're blocking. Yeah. Well, yeah you, so you started with these and I was like, oh, that's stunning. So then each part, you look at your wrist, you'll get yeah. like a different color. No, that's so cool. I'm going to have to find more beads that fit, but yeah. I'm determined here. Yeah, but it looks good. And it looks right. You know what I'm saying? So that's also this always technique good to know. makes a lot of sense yes. to me. It's like yes. very, it like, yeah, <laughs> it's doable. It's easy peasy, but you're like making this stunning piece here. I'm trying to not, I know we're all like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oy, 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 there all we right. Go. I'm going to the lab really quick. All right. Cause I got to see better. What the heck I'm doing? <laughs> Ooh, Danielle has added on a new bead over oh, here. What did you go for? I love that. Um, so pretty. Well, I'm in the process of pulling it out because I was just experimenting and oh. I think it's bunching a little too much. So it's too long. So should you just have... Well, I loved it here. Let's check it out. It sits on top. So Danielle's using the six here, millimeter like, English go, cut there. I no, I just want to see what you're talking about. Yeah, can we get... Oh. This is a good troubleshooting thing to show folks though, I think. So what's the issue you're hitting well, upon? The, see, bead with this one in between worked mm -hmm. right in this one. And then when I got over here, it started right. to kind of jump out. So I was going to just yeah. take out a CV. So what you would need are 11 O's because I could see where an 11 O, this guy, an 11 O, that would work. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, would you have anything that... Let's see, I wonder if... Um, hmm. Try to take out... Yeah, I mean, if you take out one, but then... Yeah, I don't... I guess, is there I, anything tinier? Uh, just the reds, the reds? The or the same. carnelian Are they the same? is this also six millimeter. Are they the same? <laughs> this is where it is helpful to when you have some of your stash available. Yeah, but I've, some 11 O's. The other thing is there's some little, these are like a four millimeter fire polish. It's bigger okay. as the spacers here. I wonder if one, one of these larger ones, take out one CV and just go one. Mm -hmm. That might work. Yeah, that would work. Mm -hmm. Put a big guy in the middle. Yeah. And then, yeah, perfect. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna change. Since we're just like beating it at this point, I'm gonna make it so folks can kind of see us better. And then we'll check back into the overhead in a bit. Okay. So we found this lovely this background. Screen. Katie Hacker was like, you should go, there's a green fake background you should go use. <laughs> I'm like, wow, oh, I love plants, lovely. <laughs> Oh, stab myself with the needle. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, I have too many beads up here. Okay. So we got three and three. So I'm going to see for giggles if that works. Oh, hello, everyone. I kind of already forgot that I changed the camera. <laughs> we were all just looming away at this I point. I know, we're like, now I'm in the lab. I'm getting ready to go sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You have to say, I, I want to use, I want to keep doing different sections of beads, but I am going to be limited based on, we do, we intentionally do a range of sizes in the box, thinking like for a necklace, you're going to want a lot of different size yeah. beads. For a loom project, you, it's going to be a little different. You want more consistency of beads. Yeah. So I'll just, but I think we're, we've done pretty constraint. stinking well. Right. So I haven't even used the sea beads yet. I could, I'm going to try to use the little drooks too. Oh, really? really beautiful. These little pumpkins are darling. They make some cute earrings. I do love these pumpkins. I think they're also like kind of yeah. just in time for like Halloween designs too. Yeah. I that love was kind them. of happens. That was just by coincidence. Yeah. Well, you know, and then when we advance down the road and I teach you how to do French mm -hmm. legs, mm. the pumpkins could hang off <gasps> on the French legs. <laughs> well, cause I, I just, I can't believe when we get more advanced, the number of things you can do it on it. Cause Sarah it's, Lovecraft, she does a wire. lot of cool stuff, yeah. We'll she takes in. wire on yeah. this loom. And yes. it's beautiful, makes wire pendants. Yeah, we have definitely warped with wire. Um, yeah, 
And like I said, if it's not moving, <laughs> fair I like game. that that's the rule of thumb. That's the game. That's the rule. If it's not moving. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn my stuff around. I'm trying to like do this upside down. I don't know what's wrong. We will definitely post our final projects, even if they're not final in this moment. It's working, guys. It's working. Are you in our gem chat group yet? Well, because we can tag if you join. We folks can tag. You can tag you. I'll, I'll add you after Tell this. Tell me where to go. Let's see. Got to rethread. So I'm guessing the main reason of this needle is because you wanted one that was long enough to get To across. work the entire, yeah. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people will work the entire <laughs> width of the loom. That's quite a wide, yeah. impressive bracelet then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time for my, my new bead. And you, I feel like you two have already been done the experimenting for me. How many seed beads I should use? <laughs> so is it 12 seed beads then? Um, for one row? Well, yeah, it was six millimeters. So you just do better with three. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll do Well, that. I just did two, three, and two. So weird. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So kind of weird. I don't know. But try, try because you're, you're betting up against a true six millimeter. Mm -hmm. So I would do nine. Okay. And see what happens. Can always adjust. For whatever, because this bead is more narrow. So I had to to downsize how does it does the loom do, do these strands like to adjust like to come in and then come out well i mean you know usually we're we're designing and we're and we're creating things where we're keeping the integrity of the warp mm -hmm. and so we wouldn't want it to necessarily but i will say when you're doing your sari ribbon for instance even the silver silk because that's so flexible yeah it flexes, gotcha. right? And it's not a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. um, and I will never tell you that something is long. Mm -hmm. I will teach you how to get good warp because that's imperative, right? right. Um, but I'm not the one that's going to tell you to make your warps disappear mm -hmm. or I'm just not. That's not my jam. I want you to have a good time on the loom. I want you to feel empowered to create. And by all means, I want to teach you and I want your goal to have to be to have like a piece you're proud of but that will never tell you that it's wrong or mm. that you know like you need to like find another craft <laughs> yeah I, I get that, that vibe it's not gonna be me yeah i get the vibe for you that you're just here to you're also here just to i don't know have fun and yeah. you know like i mean creativity has been in my my bones forever right and so my uh my dad is full-blooded portuguese so i'm half portuguese to speak it. A little bit, the dirty oh, words. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know any dirty words. But um, but so, and then my mom has the Chickasha Choctaw Indian. So mm -hmm. she was um, actually born in Oklahoma. And, um, and so obviously I must have gotten like the weaving from that part of my my ancestry or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. And there's, I mean, such you a long know? tradition of yeah. native weaving and tapestry yeah. and even yeah. this not far off from this. That's amazing. Right. Yeah. So, and, and I just keep birthing limbs. Like I have to like, <laughs> I have to like calm down, Joyce. Don't birth another one. Birth another one. Like I just gave everybody in our subscription group just got a loom. Another as loom. A, another loom. Nobody has really seen it. So it's a baby wisdom warrior. Oh. She's adorable, and so everyone got you know in their subscription. That's what they got this month, and they also got the necklace. Um, you know how I did that one for Nile, the little yes. necklace. Yeah. Oh. I did one for for my peeps this time, and oh. and so uh, yeah, so I just yeah, so it's in my I don't know I just love it, and I just want people to like have fun with it. Um, when my Portuguese grandma passed away. I was up until like three o'clock in the morning making a bracelet. It's actually in, in my book. Um, what is your book called? It's in Jewel, Jewel Loom Inspirations by Juliana. It's on Amazon and everywhere. But, you know, it's the one thing. Like I took all the colors that reminded me of her and the earth. And she, you know, my she would work the garden and we lived out on a ranch and you know, the avocado trees and the fig trees and the walnut trees and the dirt, you know, and the sunflowers and everything that reminded me of her is what I beaded. And I think it was in that moment that I really realized, like, oh, my gosh, the connection between healing and art 
-hmm. and this whole therapeutic thing of weaving. Mm -hmm. And so that's really my jam. I'm just... It's like a, it's the, it's yeah. almost the rhythm of it in that because that's always what we talk about it. in like the music yeah. world that like yeah. it's, it's all the there's yeah, rhythm exactly. with within frequency the rhythm of music itself exactly. the repetitive nature I mean you were talking about this on your demo yesterday of like certain stitches that you don't have to count during that you can do by muscle memory yeah you don't oh have I to love think that about it. I love that you, can, you don't have to think about that yep and I think you get to a point with the weaving on the loom where you don't have to think about it, right? You're just, it's this repetitive thing. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I like to keep it simple. And if, when you want to take it to, you know, what's the term? Um, just level it up. Well, when people want to sew the darn warps back, back into the- um, Oh, that, yeah. There's position. a term for it and I don't do it, but I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. And like, I get how it can really make a piece very beautiful and finished. That's cool. Like if you want to do that, awesome. Um, but you don't have to, right? right. Yeah. You've got the slide connectors. We have the hemp cord and the buttons mm -hmm. and I'd rather just make it a beautiful experience and easy instead of stressful. Yeah. As we wrap up, if folks mm -hmm. want to drop some <laughs> questions now, it would be a great opportunity because I haven't been following the questions too closely in the comments as I try to do my first loom project here. So now would be a great time to drop your question again um, and see if we will have, it doesn't have to be necessarily loom related. You can ask us about beading or anything yeah. bead fest. Yeah. Um, Cause we're probably gonna just hop off in a few minutes. This has been really lovely. Oh my gosh, we could just probably sit here all night. I know, I'm, okay. I wanna finish this I bracelet. I'm just, <laughs> Oh my gosh, the show's gonna close in an hour. I have to go buy some I know. beads. I was, I feel like no, I just, no. oh, yeah, you're gonna get your I was, I mean, I, my goal today was not really to buy beads, but then I started looking at the beads and oh, now I wanna some, buy beads. Yeah, that happened to me as well. <laughs> yeah. I, my first stop was Dakota Stones. <laughs> yep. Well, I, I put some of their things on the live sale last night that we Aww. did. Ricky gave us some deals. Nice. I don't know if anyone scooped up that last turn of sapphires. He, <gasps> those were a crazy deal. $35 sapphires. What? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Very good that I did not. All right, so I did this Ooh. row, and now I'll cover that row with a slide connector. <gasps> Would you want so that it can be I a can, little, little pinned. We can do our final. Our final over. Our finer overview. Yeah. We got a giant fly to join us at the end. <laughs> oh God, it's a horse fly. Are the police, <laughs> the police horses were outside the door last night. They were so gorgeous. Let's see. Yeah. So I've got this light. one row right here of the um, of the Eidos. <laughs> you don't want me to hit you with the light? <laughs> here we go. Poking eyeballs out, hitting each other with the lights. <laughs> Do they really get along? <laughs> so yeah, so I did this. I came back up and I kind of fudged my way, you know, to, to do what I should have done in the beginning. So you certainly could have started this project off with that single row of, um, of Eidos if you knew you were going to do a slide connector, but really this was such an organic process. And so, um, yeah, so I just did that. Now I can use a slide connector, which is, you know, this guy, and it goes right over the beads and this make a little pendant. It's beautiful there on the sides. Were you just explaining that? Is that just its own? Instead yeah, of... I just did some more loopies, you know, like a little Pico stitch. Is that Was that in addition to? Yeah, when you weren't looking. The warp. <laughs> I know, it's so stunning. No, it was the warp. It was, um, no, it was, yeah, it was separate. Yeah, so beautiful. I did these loops and I came up here and I was like, I'm going to do that. And then I did that. And then I kind of like went up here and I kind of went down. I had to totally hodgepodge it, but it worked out. It looks like a little bead cap it's now. Yeah. 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 And you know, because this is hemp cord, I can tie these together perhaps. And if I found something that I could string that through, you know, I don't like see Like a really anything. big bead, like yeah, a large like a, bead. Yeah. So, you know, keep it easy and fun. This is like gorgeous. I love how, yeah. So I'm just going to straighten you out. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'm straightening Sam out. So what are you doing to straighten? You're just kind of keeping them I'm parallel. Just, yeah, because they weren't straight. It was driving me crazy. So I had to come in here. So one of the things that I do is like all in the process, I look at my piece and then I'll 
I'll be like, okay, are my rows straight? And then I'll just kind of massage these guys to like, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're all good now. So <laughs> that was like three rows. These were taking obviously the longest in these, but I want yeah. to do a whole block of this seed bead. Totally. And just let it shine. I think yeah. it'll look great. It'll look really good. It'll and then really I could go back to the carnelian to finish the bracelet, depending how long I want it to be. And, and if like, you have more of these by chance, right? You could I have just, a few back home, you know. Yeah, just a, a couple. Just a couple. <laughs> just a couple. But yeah, no, that's so beautiful. I I love the whole mix it up look. You know, it's really fun. It's a great way to kind of go through your bead soup excess, exactly. right? <laughs> so as long as everything aligns with you. Got one. Two <gasps> Look at and you. three. Oh, so beautiful. I love the contrast. Oh, I love the goodness. contrast. So gorgeous. Are those four millimeter drapes? Those? Yep. Those are these. Oh my gosh. Look how you made oh, a little pattern. Three millimeter. Three millimeter. Oh, oh, they are threes. the threes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I love how they're sitting. And those are the English cuts. Those are six oh millimeter. Oh my gosh. And this hemp is one millimeter? Uh huh. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So I like to work with the one, with the one, and a lot of the girls like to work with the fives. The five mm. millimeter was, which is half the size. It's okay. just a preference. Yeah. Yeah. So folks, like, <laughs> if you're like next steps from here, I mean, we had a couple quick questions, then we'll wrap. The, okay. So, yeah, folks are answering each other's questions. Someone asked, "What beading throw we're using? We're using Wildfire from Beadalon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Everyone's guess on. 006. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Does it matter? It's what I use. Fair. Oh, six is fine. Yeah. And then I think that was the main question. So if you're looking for like more of these exact beads here, yeah. you should, you can grab the whole August box on yes. the Sam's Beach Shop website. Yes, do so. It's gorgeous. We also have like our extra sale coming up on Tuesday where we have individual extras. Folks can like grab five packs of these rondelles oh, if they well, want that's them. smart. Nice. Um, yeah. It's always it's a better deal to get the whole box, and it's kind of fun that way. Surprise! For a jewel, and we don't currently have it at Sam's Beach Shop, but that I can fix that in a week. Um, <laughs> he but, knows people. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows people. Do you want folks to get it directly from jewelloom.com? What do you prefer? Yeah, they could go to jewelloom.com and definitely make sure you go register over at jewelloomschool.com because that's going to give you the education component, and then you know everything is under Jewel Loom. The YouTube's is is the jewel loom and I'm imagining you have a few videos to of yeah, ideas there. Yeah. And every Thursday we have a new project, a new live, but, um, yeah. And who knows, maybe, maybe Sam and I will have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Neely, Neely and I always talk about. <laughs> that was not the words I was expecting to come out of your face. <laughs> we we're talking about your babies earlier, but now we're having a baby together. Now we're having a baby together. Down knee, like, why are you cheating on me? <laughs> Danielle, you want a baby? You want a third? <laughs> I definitely, I want to invent something. We might just have a baby pack. We have a baby pack. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, Joanna. Thank you. Danielle, it's such a thank joy you. to like just get thank to beat with you. We don't, it I, was we, really fun. we've never got to do this before. Thank you. I love doing this. <laughs> this is so special. I know, and it's so nice. And I got to meet you. I know. I'm happy. I love, I love. I'm happy, like the best time, guys. Yeah, and I'm honored to meet you. It's such I'm really an honor. Glad we finally got to. Likewise. So I don't even know how we end this, but I know somehow right? we're going to click end and I'll watch this on replay just so I can like absorb even more of what you say. Cause I, I watch sometimes watch the classes on replay cause I will miss half the things yeah, of too. the wisdom you've been me saying too. the whole yeah. time. And yeah. I'll be like, Oh yeah, I missed. She said that right to my face. And then I it's get to know so it again. It's just so fun to see our individual expressions right now. Like it's really heartfelt mm -hmm. to see how you communicated your, right your thing and me and you it's like really cool i'm like just excited to really wear cool. this i'm gonna, and I've, yeah. i'm gonna watch one of your finishing videos and see okay. how you like to i've seen sarah tie it off yeah, with like a button yeah. and definitely like, tie it off put a button on it call it a day yeah the demo you did yesterday <laughs> yeah was this one right it was right like, and oh i'm gonna be doing this at 10 30 in the morning on the stage oh tomorrow, tomorrow morning yeah so i'll be doing this i heard there might be some access to some of these demos outside be? of this I hope so. is what i've heard hinted at like oh. on the interweave website oh, oh yeah. okay i i'm I i've only heard a i've only heard a little bit about Just this rumor so do not quote me yeah, <laughs> but i think it might be possible if you were one were to experience some of the interweave yeah. bead fest events that were happening all this whole these five four or five days yeah some of it might cool. be posted eventually yeah and obviously companies are going live too to, sh to share as well yeah yeah but, <sighs> That's it, everyone.
let's go. We got one hour left to go enjoy the marketplace. So I, I know. I, I, and I got to get my dress on. <laughs> oh, right. And we have to get, we ready, get ready for tonight. We have to get ready for okay. tonight. There's lots, <laughs> lots to do. We actually have a lot to do. <laughs> Darn it. We can't just beat all day long. I, and I would. I, I totally would. would. I just don't even want to leave. Oh, yeah, it's so sweet. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great weekend. I hope you get to see some of you at Beat Fest <laughs> tomorrow morning. Bye, everyone.